Hello again, everyone. It's been a while since we got together. You know, February went, came and went, and we had no drawings. So here it is, now it's March, and we have our hat again. And we have all our employees in here. And because we didn't do a drawing in February, we're gonna draw 10 names out of this box today. Not names, sheets. Just so you'll remember, inside of the hat here, we have sheets with each employee's uh, HR number, and it's got your employment number on there. And we're gonna draw 10 of these sheets out of the hat here. And every one that we draw gets four hours of administrative leave to use as they choose. Why are they named the sheets in here? Every sheet that's in here represents an employee who has been boosted for their COVID shots. Guess how many people or what percentage of our judicial employees are boosted? 84%. Isn't that great? I really wish it was 100%. But 84% is fantastic. Keep up the good work. So without boring you without a bunch of statistics and numbers, let's find out who the 10 lucky employees are who will get four hours of administrative leave to use as they see fit. Our first employee is from the second judicial district Employee number 103694. 103694. You have four hours of administrative leave to use as you see fit. So, this hat is going to be much lighter when we're done with this today. Our second employee to get four hours of administrative leave is from the 11th Judicial District, employee number 341821. You are the lucky winner of four hours of administrative leave. You know, it just occurred to me I might lose count. So I might end up getting 12 employees or 13 employees if I lose count. Let's see. Our third employee is from the first judicial district. Employee number 351717. 351717. Okay. Our fourth employee to win four hours of administrative leave for being a boosted COVID boosted employee is from the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court, employee 312380. 312380. Let's see, that's four. We're almost halfway there. Here we go. Uh-oh. We have a repeat from the first judicial district. Employee number 104568. Hope you don't work side by side. That, that office will be a little bit empty maybe one afternoon if both of you take off at the same time. But it's four hours that you can use at your discretion. Okay, we're halfway there. So, another repeat from the second judicial district, employee number 318927. 318927. Four more to go. Here we go from the 3rd Judicial District. Employee number 
976 357 976 Three more to go. Let's see if we can get somebody here. Uh oh, looky here. Well, these two got stuck together, so let's keep them together. From the 8th Judicial District, employee number 330094. 330094. Also from the 8th, how did that happen? Employee number 362889. 362889. So again, if you don't know what your employee number is, go to your HR and they'll tell you what your number is. And you can find out if you're one of the lucky winners here today. Okay, let me mix these up very good to get the last win lucky winner today. And the last lucky winner today is from the Bernalillo County Metropolitan Court, employee number 318469. 318469. So, congratulations to all these 10 employees, each of which gets four hours of administrative leave for receiving their booster shots and winning the lucky drawing. You know, I've been almost for two years now your Chief Justice, and it's been my honor and pleasure to serve in that capacity. So next time there's a drawing, it'll be someone else doing the drawing for you, and again, it's been my honor and my pleasure. Thanks to every single one of you for keeping the courts open, operating, and safe to the public, and safe to each other. And hopefully sometime soon, we'll see each other again. In the meantime, adios.